Here we have Greg and Laura Dorman with Hannah and Emerson. They're twins, and how old are they? They'll be two in May. Two in May. Nice. And we have Jack and Melinda with little Eden. And how old's Eden? 18 months. We've got Richard and Jessica over there on the end with little Peyton. How old's Peyton? 16 months. 16 months. Nice. So, guys, uh, child dedication is pretty interesting. It's nothing that uh, represents salvation, nor is it anything symbolic with baptism. Uh, we at the Crossing believe in believer's baptism, that if you have put your faith in Jesus, that he's died for your sins. Um, yeah, and he is your substitute, that you should be baptized. So we're going to be doing some baptisms here in a couple weeks, and uh, we encourage you, if you haven't been baptized and you love Jesus and you want to obey him, uh, be baptized. But that aside, we're doing some child dedications here. So um, this is a commitment that these parents are making before us as leaders, you guys as a church body, and ultimately the Lord to raise these little ones in the ways of the Lord. So it's uh, it's merely a symbol, much like a uh, wedding ring or a wedding band is a symbol. Um, and like like we said, it's, it's nothing symbolic with salvation. So... Um, yeah, I have a few passages that I'm going to read and ask the parents questions. And then I also have some passages that I'm going to read and then ask you guys a question as a church body. So here we go. Ephesians 5, 31 through 33 says, Therefore a man shall leave his father and mother and hold fast to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. This mystery is profound, and I'm saying that it refers to Christ in the church. However, let each one of you love his wife as himself and let the wife see that she respects her husband. So, Greg and Laura, Jack and Melinda, Rich and Jess, do you commit to remembering your marriage covenant and, as best as you are able, to make your marriage a reflection of Christ and his church? If so, respond with, we do. Good. Yeah, all right. All right, Ephesians 6, 4 says, Fathers, do not provoke your children to anger, but bring them up in the discipline and instruction of the Lord. So do you parents agree to raise Hannah and Emerson, Eden and Peyton, as well as Riley and Mendel, um, in the discipline and instruction of the Lord? If you agree to that, please respond with, we do. Great. All right, let's see. So verses 14 and 15 says, For the love of Christ controls us, because we have concluded this, that one has died for all, and therefore all have died. And he died for all, that those who live might no longer live for themselves, but for him, who for their sake died and was raised. Jumping down to verse 20, Paul says, Therefore we are ambassadors for Christ, God making his appeal through us. We implore you, on behalf of Christ, be reconciled to God. So do you, the Crossing Church, commit to being compelled by the love of Christ, helping these parents come alongside them, encourage them, love them, and make disciples of these little children and help them raise them in the ways, in the knowledge and instruction of the Lord? If you commit to that, please respond with, we do. Awesome. Let me pray for us. Father, we are grateful for the love that you have for us, the love that you've shown us in Christ. We thank you for the many blessings that you've given us, including these children. Lord, I pray just as they've committed and we've committed as a church body to help them. Lord, would you give us grace? We are dependent on you. Would you help us to come alongside these parents, hold them accountable, encourage them, love them, Give them uh, a truthful word um, when needed. And Father, we, uh, we just ask whether it's uh, these parents, us as leaders, whether someone is married, single, has children, does not have children, children who are out of the house, we all have a role to play in these children to coming to know you. And we just ask for your help. We ask that you would give these parents grace 
that you would, uh, yeah, remind them of the gospel and that would be the motivation for them to, uh, to love their children and raise them up in your ways. So we're grateful. In Christ's name. Amen.